What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. Tonight we're out here camping and I uh, wanted to do a little bit of a uh, camping cook tonight. So uh, tonight we're going to have a uh, hobo stew and uh, let me get this off my head so maybe this will help. Anyway, there we go guys. Anyway, um, tonight we're going to have a uh, hobo stew. It's got some potatoes, some steak. Um, it's got some carrots, some onion, and uh, some tomato stuff in it. So, anyway, guys, let me get the uh, camera uh, aimed over here at what we're cooking, and I'll show you what we got going. Okay, real quick guys before we get started in this video I've been looking at my analytics and I noticed about 96 to 97 percent of you aren't subscribed so what I'd like you to do take a few seconds scroll down just a little bit and hit that little subscribe button right there and then the little bell notification icon and set that to all notifications for me then after that if you will hit the little like button and then hit the share button and share this video out with everybody that you know Share it out with your friends, your family, and anybody else. We're trying to build this channel. We're trying to make it a great channel for everybody to enjoy. So if you will, just take a few seconds and do that for me, and I appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. And uh, by hitting that like and subscribe button and then getting the notifications set, you get to see any time that i got a new video that drops and comes out. So if you will, just take a few seconds and do that for me, and I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Now on to the video. So, excuse the, uh, the mess here, but anyway, that's what we got. We got the steak on to cook right now. I'll be opening the uh, potatoes and carrots up, and we'll be adding that to the stew here in just a few minutes. But for right now, I need to get over here and you know, cook up as good as possible. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a hobo stew, and then we're going to have um, some uh, homemade uh, some homemade bread, and I'll show you all how we do that here in a little bit. So, anyway, I'll get back with you as soon as we finish this up. Alright guys, we're back. Um, so I got my potatoes, I've got my onions, I've got my carrots, and I've got all my meat in there. Now I'm just adding my tomato paste. Okay. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't think I'm going to need any more than that, hopefully. I may have to end up fixing the rest of that meat. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Alright, so I've got my carrots, my potatoes, Got a little bit of meat in here. Looks like I'm about to add some more meat to it. So that kind of stinks. I guess I'm about to start the other burner back up again. All right, let me thrust this meat out. Up and 
get it cooking. oil to it there. There's the sun to the little garlic stuff. Right there. Alright, so I've got my meat on to cook. Got some garlic powder put on it. Got a little bit of onion powder to it. Go ahead and start adding this to the stew. There. Turn that burner off. Don't need that anymore. There we go. Yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. It's looking real good. Okay, I got the fire back going. My stew is done. So I'm going to sit and eat. And I got a bunch of stuff to clean up before I go to bed. So, anyway, guys, we'll pick up with y'all here tomorrow in the morning. Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all here. It'll be eight hours for me, but just about 30 or 40 seconds for you guys. So we'll be we'll be back. All right, well, I've just about got camp completely tore down and uh, let my fire burn out and then I'm gonna put some water on it. But I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and kind of hang out, kind of getting everything cleaned up. Got the coolest camp, man. Got a bushcraft camp. Apparently somebody made this. I just run into it last night when I pulled in. Thought it was kind of cool. Lower the tripod a little bit here. I don't know who made this, but man, it's awesome. 
You can see all the way down inside of there. take you around it here this thing's pretty cool I said I don't know who who made it but I'm guessing that they were here probably a day or so uh, before I got here because there's still a lot of green stuff on it so whoever it was did a fantastic job on it but I don't think it's all that safe inside. So. Sorry, I was lowering her legs on it's what you heard, so. It's a cool little shelter. Whoever did it worked on it, but it's not what I would call stable. <laughs> Whoever did it, they just propped it up on uh, they just propped it up on this one here, and there's just a, a little bitty piece is all that's holding that log on top across. That's all that's holding it there, and then. You got this little wire right here holding it and then it looks like they sawed it off and stuck it on there there's no nails no rope no ties and uh, like I said it doesn't look all that safe I wouldn't get in it and it's all like pretty dead no telling how long it's been here but anyway it's uh there's no rope holding it, nothing holding it together. It's just kind of leaned here on a tree that they cut down, apparently. It's cool. I'll say that. I said some of it is still kind of green on it, so... I'm guessing that they were probably here a day or so before I got here and, and built it, but... Man, that took some time, I'll say that. Cool little shelter. Like I said, I don't think I would use it. it. To me, it just doesn't look very safe. But, if uh, that log going across the top ever cracks that whole thing is just going to fall apart so anyway like I said it's a pretty cool little shelter but anyway I've just about got everything cleaned up there's a couple of cans there that i got to get cleaned up um my hammock and tarp and all that was over there. And that was my camp for the night. I, like I said, I've just about got everything tore down. I'm trying to beat the rain before it gets here. It's supposed to rain out here, so... Uh, I'm going to finish getting everything gathered up, packed up, and get out of here. And then get this uploaded for you guys, so... Anyway, I didn't get to do uh, my bread that I wanted to make for you guys, so I will probably do that next trip, um, probably uh, next weekend maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but anyhow guys, appreciate y'all joining me, let me uh, raise this tripod back up here, it's going to be noisy for just a second guys. There we go. All right. Guys, I want to say thank you all for joining me on this camp and cook adventure. 
Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope to see y'all next time. But until next time, I'm Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys.